Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Mina Earth. Let's talk about survival. Not the just buy more canned beans kind, but real food security. With grocery prices climbing and whispers of a recession growing louder, waiting for the shelves to be empty before you act, that's a losing game. So I'm building my emergency indoor garden, blending hydroponics, aquaponics, and a bit of soil magic. Because growing your own food isn't just a hobby, it's protection. First up, bok choy. Bok choy is your bone's best friend, loaded with calcium and vitamins K and C. If dairy prices spike or supplies run low, this leafy green steps in. Plus, it's aquaponic where fish waste feeds the plants and the plants clean the water. No soil drama, just a full circle ecosystem. This is nature working smarter, not harder. Potatoes. These are your survival MVPs packed with carbs, potassium, and vitamin C to keep your energy up and immune system strong. If money gets tight, you can live off these for a while. I'm growing them in soil because they need to stretch underground. But that's the key. The soil crops are contained, so if something ever goes wrong, like a pest problem, it won't spread to my hydroponic or aquaponic system. Controlled chaos. Tomatoes. Now let's talk tomatoes. High in lycopene, which protects your heart, plus vitamins A and C for glowing skin. And here's the thing. If produce prices skyrocket during the recession, fresh tomatoes might feel like a luxury. But not for me. With hydroponics, they grow faster using less water and zero soil. More food, less risk. Ginger. Ginger is that old school remedy your grandma swore by, and she wasn't wrong. It fights inflammation, eases nausea, and boosts digestion. Stress messes with your body, especially during financial struggles. But ginger tea can help calm your nerves and your stomach. Like the potatoes, this one stays in soil, but again, isolated. One bug doesn't get to take down my whole car. Beans. Beans are straight up survival food. High in protein and fiber, they regulate blood sugar and keep you full longer. They also work double time by fixing nitrogen in the growing system, feeding my other plants. Aquaponics makes them strong, fast growing, and safe from soil issues. Lentils. Lentils are a recession-proof protein, cheap, fast-growing, and packed with iron and fiber. If meat prices jump or supplies shrink, these will keep you full and fueled. No soil needed, just water, nutrients, and a little patience. And here's your mini pharmacy, your herb garden. Herbs aren't just for flavor, they're medicine. Thyme fights infections, mint eases digestion and headaches, Lemon balm calms anxiety, a must when financial stress hits, and basil reduces inflammation and also builds immunity. All of these grow hydroponically right in my kitchen, fresh, fast, and hassle-free. Garlic. Garlic isn't just for flavor, it's medicine, a natural antibiotic. It lowers blood pressure, fights infections, and strengthens immunity. When healthcare costs rise, and you can't afford to get sick, garlic is a silent warrior. It's another soil grower, but safely tucked away. One bad crop doesn't risk the rest. Strawberries. Strawberries aren't just sweet. They're a powerhouse of antioxidants and vitamin C. And when fresh fruit becomes a luxury at the store, I'll still have a steady supply. Growing them aquaponically keeps them thriving without the risk of soil-borne pests messing up the batch. This isn't just a garden, it's a food security plan. Potatoes, garlic, and ginger hold it down in the soil, while tomatoes, peppers, and herbs flourish hydroponically. Bok choy, beans, and strawberries thrive in aquaponics. It's a layered defense. If one part struggles, the rest keeps growing. In a recession, when grocery prices jump and supplies shrink, this garden isn't just about eating, it's about surviving. Growing your own food means independence. Start your emergency garden now, because when you need it, it'll be too late. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
If you have any questions or tips on survival gardening, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!